my my gold medal topic. Um, this has been developing. We talked about it on the last episode of the podium. I didn't think it would get to this point. Actually, I predicted that, and I was wrong. Um, Jerry Jones has collected a group of NFL owners and some of the most powerful ones in the group, um, and they're all threatening to sue the NFL if 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 basically they they're going to sue the NFL to try to block. Roger Goodell's contract extension. And essentially, Jerry Jones is, the whole impetus of this has been the Ezekiel Elliott suspension being uh, upheld, essentially, that they couldn't get more stays granted to kind of delay it. And mm -hmm. it's kind of funny because Jerry Jones, to me, uh, he was saying a bunch of good stuff about Roger Goodell during Deflate Gate. Yeah. You know, so to me, I'm not on his side at all on this because it's like you're so hypocritical when you were when you were. I mean, I get it. Roger Goodell sucks. He's like the Donald Trump of NFL yeah. of the NFL. He really he screws up everything. But in the end, Jerry Jones, you were not like this when Tom Brady was getting screwed over. Right, right. And um, he didn't beat a woman, and that was a big part of this. He deflated a ball. Yeah. This is. It's much more murky with your guy. Exactly. You know? And so, for me, this is kind of a weird thing for him to, like, take his final stand on on the hill. But uh, what do you guys think well, about I this mean, insurrection? Jerry, Jerry Jones, the one thing he's always looking out for is Jerry Jones. And very so, true. Like, very true. To, when you look at what he's doing, that's what he's trying to save his own ass. It's like, I love it because, you know, it's, it's doing something to Roger Goodell. I cannot stand him. But I can't stand Jerry Jones either. I can't stand none of these owners. I'm going to call my boy P. Diddy up because we about to start our own league, so y'all don't have to worry about this no more. <laughs> we about to wipe them all away. So. The Ciroc League? Exactly. <laughs> the Ciroc League, man. We already got a sponsor, so it's all straight. Right. Um, I think if you think about it, this is Jerry This is Jerry Jones throwing his like last effort temper tantrum to try to throw the, the rest of the league into this chaos so that his guy doesn't have to be the one to take the fall. Right. Um, it wasn't Ezekiel Elliott, he'd be right up there. No, he has to, I mean, he, he paid the consequences, he did the consequences, or he did what he did, and I have to pay the consequences, but he was quiet when Tom Brady got suspended, right? Exactly, he didn't say nothing. Not to say the play game too. was okay, but he was quiet. There yeah, was no, it's, it's such small potatoes compared to what Ezekiel exactly, is dealing with, exactly. and I think that's one of the biggest issues. Right. It's just in comparison, you look so hypocritical. The NFL has been the biggest soap opera this year. Man. Well, the the interesting thing with this is like historically we've had owners like this before. Al Davis, the Raiders, was notoriously out to get the NFL, suing the NFL constantly. But everyone knew Al Davis was kind of out for himself. The one thing about Jerry Jones is he's made the owners more money than any of the other owners. Yeah. Collectively, what he's done with his stadium and all the – they in the end, all these owners do revenue sharing. Mm -hmm. So when Jerry Jones is making more money for himself, that gets spread out amongst all the owners. And he, mm -hmm. he in the end, is so influential in those rooms when it comes to making money. They all take advice on how to make money from Jerry Jones. Yeah. So, in a room of 32 egomaniacs, he's the one they look to. So this is incredibly important what he's doing. This is an insurrection of the owners to take over your guy who you pay $40 million a year for. Mm -hmm. You think Roger Goodell is going to give that up that easy? No. Make it $40 million for doing like very little and he he screws up 99 percent of the time exactly he doesn't even do a good job so. like look with colin kaepernick just sign him just have him signed signed and your your whole situation's over but it's taken him a year and a half and he still hasn't figured it out yet and, and so yes jerry jones roger goodell is pretty incompetent but when he was your incompetent dummy you loved him yeah but now that he's against you you don't like him and i think it's just it's just so hypocritical. Yeah. But um, any final thoughts on this, Russ? No, I think you guys uh, hit the nail on the head. 